Hey guys, so this is a video on creating a Navisworks search set. This is a help document I created a while ago, and I'll share this. Like uh, all my videos, or at least the ones that I've been doing recently, what I do is I, I create a OneDrive folder. I put everything in there, the video, the thumbnail, the PowerPoint, and uh, you know any document associated with the video I try to put it in there and then I move it to a shared folder where you can get access to every single video I've made and all the presentations everything that's in there uh, so you'll get access to this as well but all this is doing is kind of going through setting up a search set and then using it I think at the end of it is just going through and using it for clash detection uh, which is easy enough we may skip that part and kind of focus on creating the search sets because I find that those are pretty valuable because what you can do is you can save them, use them for clashes, use them for filtering, use them for um, just coordination and stuff like that, grabbing particular things, hiding stuff, um, a variety of different things. But it's nice to have them pre-set up, good to go. You can use them um, just like you would on anything that's already in the project tree. Um, or the selection tree and uh, we'll go through setting up those those search sets and stuff and I'll show you how to use them so in this document uh, it talks about the HVAC model and the plumbing model and what we'll do is we won't necessarily look at clashing but we'll look at gra grabbing some some duct work so I'm gonna go ahead and just close this and then for you guys that want to see uh, information maybe in a different way, uh, come out here, use this document. It, it's kind of a step-by-step -step, um, through the whole process of creating it. But I'm going to do that in the video. I'm not necessarily going to reference this that much. But feel free to download it and use it however way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And we'll jump into Navisworks. So with Navisworks open, I what I've done is I've opened up the uh rme so the advanced revit uh model the me model that autodesk has it's one of the sample models if you don't have it just check out their site you can download it and i export it on nwc if you don't know how to do that uh what you can do is actually go into navisworks append a revit model and then it'll automatically create an nwc for you in that same folder and then from there you can just keep going it'll save it and everything. Um, so now what we'll do is look at creating those search sets. So we'll zoom in into uh, one of these rooms, kind of look at the, the duct. And what we want to do is grab one of these elements so that we can look at a particular parameter because that's what we're going to be searching for so we can grab these elements. And when I grab this, you can see it kind of highlights everything. Um, I've ran into this a number of times. If you have this issue, just simply come up to select and search, drop, drop that down, click this drop down, and then do first object, click out. And you can see now when I select the duct, it actually selects it over here in the selection tree. And then we also get the appropriate parameters of that duct. Um, so there's a variety of ways that we can actually search this. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at a couple of them. So um, we have different categories. So we have item. So we can get rectangular. We can get the type. Uh, and I think type might be our best bet in getting what we, we want out of this. Um, but we'll, we'll take a look at a few of them. Maybe the name uh, because that, that will grab most of what we need. Uh, we also can look at the element. So you can filter this stuff down to specific things. You know, we can look at the category, which may be the best if we want to grab everything because this uh, flex duck should have the uh, same category. If we scroll up here, we can see, oh yes, flex duct. So there, it's on that category. Um, I think air terminals too is its, its own category as well. So we may have to go through and try to identify more um, the different categories and then maybe we create one search set to grab them all. Um, 
We can also look at phases, stuff like that. So what we'll do is we'll start off with just grabbing, let's let's start with the, the category. So for this flex ducts, we'll just look for the category. So the category is up here, element, and then the next parameter in the search set is going to be, I think, the element or whatever, which is going to be the category and then what it equals, which is uh, flex duct. So what we'll do is we'll go up to, I think it's the view or uh, the... Uh, home tab and what we'll do is we'll click the find find items and then with this selected what we can do is start setting it up so here we have so this is what I meant by what I was trying to say so we have our category that's our first one then property condition and then value so the first category is going to be um, element and that's going to be up here at the top so what we'll do is we'll span this a little bit so we can actually see it and I'll just type in E, which will bounce me to element. Now we'll go to property. If we look over here, that's going to be uh, category. So what we'll do is we'll go to property and we'll press C for category. And then we'll kind of go down this list uh, and we'll select category. And then we'll do conditions and we'll say equals and then the value. And it should give us a drop down where we can actually select it. So what we'll do, we'll look at category. It's flex ducts. We'll press F. Let's do, let's try to type it out and see. All right, so there it is. And then what we need to do is just come over here and see if it actually works. So we'll do a find all. We'll look at our model, and now we can see it highlights all the flex duct that's in the model. And you can see over here in the selection tree as well. Over here in properties, you can see 113 items are selected. Um, now what we can do is um, we will uh, come over here to our search sets, which I can't remember where exactly that is. So what we'll do is go to the View tab, and we'll go to Windows, and we'll come down here to Sets, click that on, and now we have Sets. And uh, with this selected, you can see it kind of it's still highlighted. Come over here, and we say Save Search. If we do Save Selection, it'll save it, but it, it's not at that point. It's not reading a parameter value, so it's not looking at Element Category equals Flex Ducts. It's just looking at manual selected items. Uh, and what that means is when you update this model and say we, we've done changes, we've added more to a specific room, then it won't, it won't bring in any of those new elements because it's not looking at a, cat or an, a parameter. It's looking at your man manual selected items. So uh, keep that in mind. Sometimes that's, that's helpful to have those maybe um, project to project, but not they're not necessarily used that much. Save search sets, on the other hand, look at a parameter value. So anytime you update the model, it'll bring in the, bring in those new updated elements. For this example, flex duct, if we went to the Revit model, added flex duct, then we would see that flex duct, that new added elements uh, will be picked up in our search set because it has that same parameter associated with it. So we'll click on Save Search Set. And what we'll do is we'll just give it a name. We'll just say Flex. Ducks. And then that's it. And from here, we can actually start to look at other things. So if we wanted to get our, um, say if we want to come back here and we want to grab this, this duct, and we um, go back to item, or actually, what was it? Uh, element up here at the top. We see it's just ducts. We change this to ducts, and then come down here and say find all. We can see now it's highlighted. We come back here, click add the save search set. We'll type in ducts, and then we're good to go and that's been added. Now for these elbows, what we'll do is we'll again go back up here, we'll look at the category, come back to here, and we'll just change this to duct fittings. 
and then we'll do find all. So for the most part, that'll grab a lot of that system. Um, I think we'll create one more for the um, um, air terminals. Oops. Okay, now let's save this. We'll say duct buildings. And now let's do one more just to make sure. We'll come back up to the top. We'll see air terminals is the category. We'll come up here and update that value. Air terminals. And we'll make sure it works. Find all. And then we'll come over here, save that search set. Air. Air terminals. So now if we come in here and grab all those, you can see that we pretty much look at entire uh, system. And say we also want to pick up their air handling units. Again, if we come up here, we see mechanical equipment. So what we'll do is we will, first what we'll do is clear this out. So let's right click and then delete all conditions. Come back, should just delete in three of them, but it's fine. What we'll do is we'll set it up again. So element and then property, which again is gonna be category. And then the conditions equals mechanical equipment. And then we'll do find all. Then we'll come back, save that search set, mechanical. There. So if we grab this, select all these, we should get that entire system. And then what we can do is come up here to the Home tab. We can do uh, Hide Unselected. We'll go ahead and close this Find Items. We don't need that anymore. And we can see that entire system here. Uh, we have the search set set up. And what we can actually do is uh, save this for future use. Um, and we can either host this into an NWF file that'll be, um, let's say, distributed to every project folder. And then what you would do is just overwrite the NWCs and then it would have all the uh, correct saved search sets. Or you come over here to the export tab and you export out those search sets. So real quick, since, since uh, let's see how many minutes we've been. So let's, Quickly, uh, for the folks that kind of want to see it, we'll take a look how to set one of these up a clash. We won't run one because we don't have anything to clash against. We do have other elements, but we haven't set up the search sets. We can clash against um, different categories, and we'll take a look at that. So in the Home tab, you'll come over here, Clash Detective. That window will pop up. We'll kind of expand it. And then what we'll do is we'll come up here, we'll add test, and we'll just leave it test one. And um, what we want to do now is come down here to select, and then we'll switch this standard to sets. And if you remember earlier over here, I don't know if I showed you it, but in the selection tree, we didn't have sets because they weren't created. But now that they are, they're here. So we can actually switch that in the selection tree and then use that to select certain elements. So if we switch to sets, uh, what we can do now is grab these elements and then just for the heck of it, what we'll do is we'll come back over here, we'll unhide all, and then what we'll do is we'll come into this and see what we get if we... So let's try to look at... Let's look at, if we switch it to standard, maybe we'll just look at one level and we'll grab all the cable trays. And we, and, 
and we'll grab the conduit if there is any. Um, And then now what we'll do is we will come up here and just, um, we can right click it and run the test, but you can also come down here and do update all. Either way works. So we'll go to update all, we can see the clashes. So now we have 25 clashes. If you do wanna see those values, you just go to result. And then now you can see those clashes in the background, they're highlighted, and we can kind of get an idea of what's clashing in the model. Um, so there you go. So that's kind of how you create search sets. Um, since we did have time to kind of go through the clash detective portion, in that help document, it actually goes through uh, a bit of that, and it goes in depth on um, you know, uh, the different parameters you can look at and stuff and what you can grab. And what's neat is we were looking at a particular uh, size. So we wanted four inch pipe and that's what we were grabbing in the model. And we were looking at a particular, um, uh, a particular uh, source file. So we grabbed the plumbing model and then filtered it down to a specific size and we clashed that. And this goes over some more um, just visual examples of the categories, properties, and values to kind of give you a better, you know, um, idea of which one is what. So you can see here, these are the categories, these are the properties, these are the values. So, you know, just go through this. Let me know uh, if you have any questions. Hopefully this helped you. Uh, let me know how you're using Navisworks. Uh, let me know if, um, if you have any tips. I'd love to hear them. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.